Uh, Bora Boye. People are fond of saying that knowledge is power, right? Uh, but without direction, without focus, without a sense of purpose, without a uh, defined methodology, um, knowledge is chaos. Knowledge is uh, a complete and total distraction, which is something you can very easily see play out day by day uh, on the internet when it comes to uh, any conversations about Orisha lifestyle, right? Um, we live in an era wherein the information is is overabundant. You know, you can get anything uh, you you so desire in, in the way of knowledge, right, on the internet today. Um, but the use of that information only feeds um, um, a lower set of interests, a lower um, level of concern, right? So the more you learn, the more obsessed you get with things that don't matter, okay? And, you know, 20 years ago, that would have been uh, mitigated by the fact that you could only get information from people directly, okay? There were no cell phones, right, 20 years ago. So if you were even on the phone with someone, you were on a landline. I was on a landline at my house. You were on the landline at your house. And it was the phone of the house. And so all the other people, you know, uh, in the house would have had, you know, they would be, you'd be hearing the voices and the people would be running around and somebody would pick up the phone in the other room or somebody else needs to use the phone. You, you know, you, you, you couldn't be in your car, right? Talking to some, right? So it was like, you, you, your con all these things helped influence and define the quality of your conversation, right? Likewise, that those conversations were always punctuated with interaction, okay? Because you were talking to somebody who was close to you. They lived 10 miles away, away from you or 20 miles away from you. And so you guys were going to see one another and you were going to, you know, get a demonstration of what you had been discussing and, and, and it wasn't going to be a situation where you could just be talking, talking, talking uh, on the phone thousands of miles away or, or something like that. Now you can get uh, all this information and it never be grounded in any kind of a reality, right? And so it just ends up feeding and supporting um, your preoccupation with things that don't matter. And again, the evidence of this is the, the, the full spectrum of information that's available to you. Every day you get information about climate change, right? Every day. Today I saw a, a, a little bit about, you know, ancient bacteria that have been locked away in the, in the, in the permafrost. And as it thaws out, these, these you know, ancient viruses are, are now being released. And the scientists are wondering about you know, pandemics, right? We know that we've overfished, we've over, we've deforested. Um, you know, if the if the climate is to is to change just two degrees around the world, two degrees, it's, it, we're talking about mass destruction. You know, catastrophic, cataclysmic destruction of life as we know it today. Silence in the Orisha community. Silence. Silence. Okay. If economic downturn. I mean. That we here in the United States, President Obama came in at a at a time where there was a, you know, how many trillion dollar deficit, right? Which was stabilized over a, an eight year period, and now we have a, a new presidency that has ripped the bottom out of all that and is putting together a whole new set of legislation that is that is orchestrating a transfer of wealth that you cannot believe. We're going to be feeling the effects of this for decades, for generations. In the Orisha world, silence, right? All of the main conversations about things that are truly going to impact your life, your children's life, your great-great-grandchildren's life, the existence of our tradition as a whole, we're silent. Why? And why are we silent at a time wherein uh, we have more access to information uh, on our tradition, on the practices, on the rituals, on the ceremonies, on the verses, on everything? You've got an overabundance. People are adding me to groups 
on my phone on you know on whatsapp they're adding me on on to to groups on uh, on facebook they're they're at i mean it's just there people are adding you know what i mean there's so much information that you, you just look up and then you've been added to a new group and a flood of information comes in with videos and people chanting and people telling stories and i mean it's just over the top but the preoccupation is just lower and lower and lower right the only thing people are concerned about and animated about is jay-z and beyonce's wardrobe at a an award ceremony the release of a a movie about fictional africa and fictional african power imaginary african power those are the things that people are most excited about so knowledge is not power knowledge is a distraction if you lack the vision if you lack a sense of purpose if you lack a, a connection to something greater than your own petty concerns knowledge is just a distraction in the orisha lifestyle academy we have orchestrated a series of educational experiences that are intended to reconnect you to your ancestral promise they are intended to show you and remind you on a perpetual basis of the big picture right we are here as humanity for one purpose how come no one's talking about that purpose how come we aren't being constantly reminded of the reason for which we have been brought to this planet why is that not even an afterthought okay when you enroll in the Orisha Lifestyle Academy that will not be the case everything we do is predicated upon that singular goal how do you use your natural gifts and talents to align with your ancestral promise which is in support of our mission as human beings to help bring about the good condition so I'm inviting you to visit OrishaLifestyle.com peruse the information and the offerings and get involved get enrolled stop pl playing into this uh, consumerism mentality where you just get more and more and more and more stuff so that you can accumulate accumulate more and more and more stuff right that only leads to more destruction more chaos and more mayhem okay so that is not what we're here for that's not what Alo has has mandated for us as human beings we have a greater purpose we have a greater opportunity seize the moment get involved join Orisha Lifestyle Academy Aboru aboye, aboshi shen.